Former President Trump in Waco, Texas tonight, the first rally of his 2024 campaign. It comes as a possible indictment from the Manhattan District Attorney could be just days away. Caitlin Huey Burns is following it all. Facing the prospect of becoming the first former president to be criminally indicted, Trump kicked off his third White House campaign in Waco. When this election is over, I will be the president of the United States. You will be vindicated and proud, and the thugs and criminals who are corrupting our justice system will be defeated, discredited, and totally disgraced. As Trump's legal challenges intensify, so too has his rhetoric, taking to social media to warn of death and destruction if he's indicted. On Friday, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg received a letter with a powdery white substance and a typewritten note saying, Alvin, I'm going to kill you. The substance was determined to be non-hazardous. Bragg is leading a grand jury investigation into Trump's 2016 campaign finances and hush money payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels. With possible criminal charges in this case looming, Trump has portrayed himself as the victim of government overreach. And Republicans on Capitol Hill are calling on Bragg to testify before Congress and to turn over documents related to the investigation. In Waco, some supporters echoed Trump. Every bit of it. I think uh, Alvin Bragg should be arrested and thrown in prison. We're tired of Trump taking all the slings and arrows. And the grand jury is expected to reconvene next week. And in light of those threats against Bragg, law enforcement officials have increased security around New York City's courthouses. Caitlin Huey Burns, CBS News, Washington.